हेलो एंड वेलकम नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू सम एक्सरसाइज फ्रॉम चैप्टर 16 ए ऑफ आईसीएससी बुक बाय सेलिना पब्लिशर्स टू डू द एक्सरसाइजेस वी नीड टू रिमेंबर सम फार्मूलास एंड द फर्स्ट फार्मूला इज द सम ऑफ द इंटीरियर एंगल्स ऑफ अ पॉलीगन इज n 2 मल्टीप्लाइड बाय 180 डिग्री व्हेयर n इज द नंबर ऑफ साइड्स और number of angles of the polygon so for n gon this is the formula and number 2 is the sum of the exterior angles of a polygon is always 360 degree whatever be the number of sides of the polygon and number 3 is very important the number of sides of a polygon is always a natural number and it cannot be a fraction or a decimal it cannot be less than 3 because 3 is the minimum number of lines that a polygon should have and such a polygon is called a triangle it cannot be 3.2 it cannot be 4.5 5.6 like this it should be always natural numbers 3 4 5 6 6 and so on so our first exercise is exercise number 10 The figure given below shows a pentagon A B C D E with sides A B and E D parallel to each other. So E D and A D B is parallel to each other. Also given angle B is to angle C is to angle D is equal to 5 is to 6 is to 7. So first we have to find out then sum of interior angles of this pentagon so we'll use the formula sum of the interior angles a plus b plus c plus d plus e is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree so if we put the value of n that is equal to 5 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree and that is equal to 3 multiplied by 180 degree so this is 540 degree so this is uh, this is the sum of interior angles of the pentagon so next is write the value of angle a plus angle e now you can see it is given that ed and ab are parallel to each other so if we consider on this two parallel lines ed and ab and this line is actually the transverse for this parallel lines and these two angles this angle and this angle they are interior angles and on the same side of the transversal such angles are supplementary supplementary means the sum of these two angles 180 degree so if that is so then we can write ab is parallel to ed and ea is transversal line angle eab plus angle aed these two angles is equal to 180 degree and for pentagon we can write angle a plus angle e and we don't break it you can write interior angles on same side of transverse so that is why it is 180 degree because they are supplementary angles so we get angle a plus angle e is equal to now number 3 now part 3 of the exercise we have to find out angle b c and angle d let angle b is equal to 5x angle c equal to 6x and angle d equal to 7x so sum of the angles we can write angle a plus angle e these two angles plus the remaining angles angle b plus angle c plus angle d is equal to sum of the angles are already we got 540 degree so 
here angle A plus angle E we, it is given that this angle is 180 degree plus angle B is 5x degree plus angle C is 6x degree and angle D is 7x degree and the sum of the angles 540 degree so 5x plus 6x plus 7x is equal to 18x is equal to 540 minus 180 and that is equal to 360 degree therefore x is equal to 360 divided by 18 is equal to 20 we can find out the value of 5x 6x and 7x so angle b is equal to 5x so that is equal to 5 into 20 degree and that is equal to 5x degree that is equal to 100 degree angle c is equal to 6x degree that is equal to 6 into 20 degree is equal to 120 degree and angle d is equal to 7x degree that is equal to 7 multiplied by 20 degree is equal to 140 degree now exercise number 11 two angles of a polygon are right angles that means 90 degree each and the remaining are 120 degree each two are 90 degree and 90 degree and others are 120 degree each find the number of sides so for that uh, we will assume that let the number of sides of the polygon is n that we have to find out we assume it is to be n and it is given that sum of the two angles are two right angles and that is equal to 180 degree 90 90 is 180 degree and sum of the rest of the angles that means n minus 2 two angles are 90 plus 90 180 degree then out of n if 2 is deducted then the rest of the angle uh, sides are n minus 2 so this n minus 2 angles are 120 degree each so n minus 2 multiplied by 120 degree so this plus this is equal to the total internal angles of the polygon so you can write n minus 2 into 1 sorry this is 120 this is 120 so this is equal to 120 n minus 240 degree you can write degree degree plus 180 degree is equal to 180 n degree minus 360 degree so that you can say 120 n and 180 n that is equal to 180 n degree minus 120 n degree is equal to minus 240 degree plus 180 degree this minus will become plus plus 360 degree so this is 60 n degree is equal to 300 degree so from this we can write n is equal to 300 degree divided by 60 degree is equal to 5 so the number of sides of this polygon is 5 so this is a pentagon Exercise number 13. The angles of a hexagon n equal to 6 are x plus 10, twice x plus 20, twice x minus 20, twice x minus 50, x plus 40, and x plus 20 degree. So we have to find the value of x. 
sum of the internal angles of a hexagon is equal to n minus 2 into 180 degree and this is equal to n is equal to 6 minus 2 multiplied by 180 degree and that is equal to 720 degree angle sum of all angles so it is given that x plus 10 degree plus twice x plus 20 degree twice x plus 20 degree 20 degree plus twice x minus 20 degree plus twice x minus 50 degree plus x plus 40 degree plus x plus 20 degree is equal to 720 degree so if we considered all the axes x plus twice x twice x plus twice x equal to 5x plus 3 is equal to 8x plus x equal to 9x plus x is equal to 10x so this is 10x if we consider this positive fellows 10 plus 20 is equal to 30 plus 40 equal to 70 plus 20 is equal to 90 so plus 90 then again negatives are this 20 and this 50 so it is minus 70 is equal to right side equal to 720 so uh, 10x is equal to 720 minus 20 is equal to 700 and therefore x is equal to 700 divided by 10 is equal to 70 so that is the value of x that we have to find out find x x is equal to 70 now exercise 14 in a pentagon number of sides 5 two angles are 40 degree and 60 degree two angles are given and the rest are in the ratio 1 is to 3 is to 7 we have to find out the biggest angle let us consider that formula sum of all internal angles equal to 5 minus 2 uh, 5 is the number of sides or number of angles and that is equal to 540 degree and two angles are given sum of two angles equal to 40 plus 60 and that is equal to 100 then how many left out of five two angles are gone only three are left and these are given ratios of the angles are 1 is to 3 is to 7 so we assume that let the rest three angles are say x 3x and 7x that means the ratio is 1 is to 3 is to 7 that is given so if that is so sum of the two angles is 100 degree plus x degree plus 3x degree so these are say x degree 3x degree and 7x degree plus 7x degree is equal to 540 for pentagon that is equal to 540 degree now x plus 3x plus 7x that is equal to 11x is equal to 540 minus 100 and that is equal to 440 so x is equal to 440 divided by 11 so this is equal to 40 so we get x is equal to 40 okay now we have to find out the biggest angle two angles are already given that is 40 and 60 so one angle is 40 degree another angle is 60 degree and rest from this ratio we can find out one is x and that is also is equal to 40 degree and next is thrice x and that is equal to 3 multiplied by 40 
degree is equal to 120 degree and uh, other is 7x and that is equal to 7 multiplied by 40 degree and that is equal to 280 degree so what is the biggest angle definitely 280 degree is the biggest angle it is a good practice to try to draw the angles also like they say this is 40 degree this is 40 degree this is 120 degree approximate this is a rough diagram only and this is 60 degree and this angle is 280 degree this way you can solve problems on pentagons from chapter 16a so in the next video we'll solve the problems from exercise 16b of selena book and we'll do this for the regular polygons till then thank you